Let's make crispy quail with grits and spinach, a delicious and flavorful dish. First, you need to brine your quail for about 30 minutes. While it's brining, go ahead and start making your grits. Here's the mise en place for your grits. Very easy to make. Let's start making grits. Go ahead and bring your water and a little bit of salt to a boil. And then once your liquid is boiled, you can start raining in your grits. Make sure that water is boiling though, before you add your grits. Now that it's pretty much at that point, we're gonna add our garlic and we're gonna rein in these grits. And you're gonna notice that when the grits get put in, that it will start to thicken and it will start to cook. Now these only need about five to eight minutes to cook in total, and they're very fast. And these are called quick cooking grits versus the longer style grits that you might see at the store. So rain those in until you're all done. That should be a quarter cup of grits. And then you wanna cook it until it's a really thick paste. Think of very, very thick mashed potatoes at this point. So to help that along, we're just going to put the heat on low and cover this for about five minutes. And it's going to cook underneath that lid and get to that beautiful thick texture that we're looking for. Once your grits have cooked for about five minutes under the pot lid, you want to go ahead and whisk it well. You see how it looks like mashed potatoes now. So at this point, we're going to add in our heavy cream. The heavy cream is going to really give this grits beautiful richness. And the heavy cream here, it seems like it's quite a lot, but it is definitely going to be the perfect texture in the end. So add all of that cream in and then whisk it, whisk it, whisk it until it's nice and smooth. Once you've done that, then at the end, you're going to want to add in your shredded cheese. Now, if you want to add any additional spices to your grits, be my guest. Right now, it's going to have that cheese flavor as well as the garlic. Uh, I added a little black pepper for my own, but you can definitely add spice if you want. You can add cayenne pepper. You can add some chopped chilies, uh, maybe even some onion powder. It's really up to you. So now that my cheese is all melted, my grits are done. Now I'm just going to reserve this on the side. So when I'm ready to plate, my grits are ready to go. So I took my quail out of the brine and I dredged it with some seasoned flour. A little salt, a little pepper, a little cayenne pepper. And I heated some neutral oil to 375 degrees. And I'm going to deep fry this quail until... Well, it, the thing about quail is that because it's so small, it's really difficult to get an internal temperature. So I just looked at the basic color on the outside and when we bit into it later, it was perfectly cooked. So the main thing, really try your best not to overcook it. So another way to kind of gauge that is when you kind of see a lot less bubbles uh, when you're deep frying, then that means that a lot of that excess moisture from a raw piece of meat is gone at that point. Now that my quail is finished, I put it to the side and I'm going to saute my spinach. I'm just taking a little bit of that shallot infused oil that we made for the Hainan uh, when we did our crispy shallots and I'm just going to do a quick saute with some minced garlic and some spinach and it's going to just be really wonderful addition to this plate. Don't forget to season with salt and pepper. So did you see how quickly this dish came together? Wow, super fast. So once you're all done with all the components, put the grits on the bottom, then the spinach, and then the quail on top, and you're done. Enjoy.